Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Stage 2 is the flame stage of which I'm going to be starting right now because they just like transition right into one stage from another. <laughs> and let's get it started. These blocks, well the soft blocks in this stage, they eventually come back. You'll see that in just a second. Um, see that right there? It just popped right back into place. This switch moves certain platforms. Well, actually pops stuff out of the ground. Well, if you hit those platforms with a bomb blast, it will push them into the ground like so and fill in any holes. That's the gimmick of this level. And see this fuse on the ground here? If you hit that fuse, that, oh, it only works if, huh. I thought the, those fuses on the ground were affected by bomb blasts. Maybe I'm only thinking of some other area. Let's try this. Yeah, that's how it works. That by that uh, furnace thingy right there. That's another gimmick of this stage. And I don't want to trap myself here, so I'm gonna wait for it to go once again. There we go. And I'm gonna go up to the door, and we're done with this stage. Unless you want to like blast all of these um, fire things just to see if there's any items in it like that. Yeah, that's only if you want to, though. I I'm I'm pretty well powered up as I am already, so I'm I'm pretty good to go. If I come across any other items along the way, I'll explain them and whatnot, but yeah. Alright, so... Wow, that's a fast little critter there. <laughs> Alright, you come over here, preferably. Or go to the right. Delightful! Now, if I hit this, it'll cover up that hole over there. Awesome-tastic. Blast the fire. And... Oh, red bombs. Well, actually, they're like a spike bomb. What they do is they go straight through soft blocks. They're like the red bombs in the first uh, Bomberman game. More firepower. That sounds good to me. Uh, I want... I'm afraid to unleash the hounds, so to speak. Because those critters are quite fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Goodness gracious! Great balls of fish food. I got the remote control bomb. And I don't believe items stack in this game. Like, you've seen that it, it erased my uh, red bomb there, or my, or my spike bomb. That remote control bomb, you uh, activate to blow up by pressing the B button on the controller. You can blow it up at any time that you want to, just like so. Uh, I'm gonna have to take care of that guy eventually, aren't I? Yeah, I might as well just put one there and take care of him now. I don't want to start up that furnace right now. That would be... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no purpose for me to uh, start up the furnace unless I, you know, want to or something. If I... Can I, like, blast the furnace door? No, that does nothing. You absolutely have to put a bomb in the door for it to work. Alright. I can go back and hit these switches. I only skipped these a little while ago because I was unsure of the timing of that guy. And, you know, I just wanted to get a little bit, a little bit further into his, the stage to a safer location. And that's the end. <laughs> Two, three, let's go. Um, despite this game being a lot harder, it also seems to be a little bit longer as well compared to the original game. So this, this game is a improvement all around, in my opinion, compared to the original. Not that it, not that the original is a bad game by any, mean, any means, of course, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, those red guys down there, as you see, they like to shoot fire at you. That's their main attack there. Otherwise, they're pretty slow and basic. And I believe they can shoot through blocks as well. But when you have the remote control bomb, it just makes them like a non-issue. Uh, that furnace, it's its so... Oh, you can't hurt them when they are shooting fire. Interesting. So I guess they are a little bit tougher than I thought they were. <laughs> but yeah, that furnace is usually not a good, di good idea to start up because of the fact that they, it, it really gets in the way. You can be trapped between an enemy or a bomb or something like that as it's about to start up and, you know, die. That's kind of an issue, you know? <laughs> so generally you should avoid the furnace if you can. Wait, what, what did the, oh, that's right. If you ever hit those things with a bomb blast, what'll happen is that they'll actually start on fire and then <laughs> they'll go crazy like that. They'll actually kind of seek you out a little bit. Uh, when they're on fire like that, and... Oh, I mistimed that. That's my bad. And what'll happen is that they, they try to run into you, uh, but they're so aggressive that they often run away from you if you just use a bomb to, like, guard yourself from them. Um, 
man. That's pretty much the stage, aside from, you know, getting these platforms to pop up. Which is really, really easy to do, because I have the remote control bomb, so I don't have to worry about the timing of those soft blocks not working in my favor. And... that... Oh, shit! Yeah, the only issue, though, is I have to wait for, you know, it to, it to f fall into place. <laughs> and that was the stage. This actually is going pretty quickly, I'm surprised. Probably because of the remote control bomb. And I'm also surprised that I haven't died yet, but I, I probably shouldn't say that because lately, as I've been saying that, I've been dying. So, yeah. <laughs> um... I wonder. No, I don't. No, I don't want to be trapped by the soft blocks. I was gonna go in there, but that might actually cause me more ire than it needs to be. See, because that that right there might happen. There we go. That's that's my ideal move right there. Uh, wait, did that guy just like stop in the middle and not? Oh, yeah, it can stop wherever it wants to, can't it? Interesting. Or does it have to always be three squares? Like, if it'll go up, will it be three squares? Yeah, the... Okay, it is three squares. Interesting, I didn't know that. And... That's pretty much it for the stage, I think. Yeah, I'm... I'm really ripping through these stages now, because I think it's because of the remote control thing, but... What are you gonna do? If you have the power-up, you might as well use it. <laughs> Alright... Should I start up the furnace, because it's right here? I mean, that'll take care of those guys instantly, but at the same time, it'll cause me a lot of trouble for the rest of the stage. Mm. Oh, I see. I have to... Oh, yeah, I have to stir up the furnace in this one. That's that's the gimmick of this stage. You can see, if I drop a bomb there, it's going to do that. And, and I absolutely have to do that to unleash the... Uh, uh, platform, I mean, uh, uh, uncork the platform from the ground, and yeah, you get the idea. Ugh. So, that's a necessity, unfortunately, and I'm gonna have to run across that fuse, aren't I? <laughs> Alright. Blind run, go, 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 oh, jeez. <laughs> um, I think that's gonna be... Did I hit any of them? I have no idea. <laughs> Did I... No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> well, that one worked. Okay, I just needed to get one out of my way so I could, like, get up here. It's just too dangerous to sit around on that fuse. And I'd bet that that red guy over there is actually impervious to the, the fuse, by the way he was just running around on there. I'd bet that he did get caught up on it at least once. Okay, so I have to go around and take care of these platforms one by one. Well, I should say these whole... I don't even know what the heck to call them. They're not platforms. They're like, they're blocks, but they're flapped, and I don't know. And that's the end of the stage. It doesn't really matter. I'm done. And the first boss of the stage on 2-7, of course. It is known as Golem Bomber. He is pretty slow, and he can throw bombs, and his bombs are very powerful, but... Otherwise, his slowness is his weakness, basically. He can, like, stun you if he throws a bomb on top of you. Ooh, I want that heart. Definitely want that heart more than anything. Uh, and he can hit himself with his own bombs, apparently. <laughs> that was just terrible. <laughs> I mean, seriously. There was another suicide boss. Um, an interesting thing about this guy is that he's actually a pacifistic and kind guy, and he also likes nature and wildlife, so I have no idea why he's with these bad guys to begin with. I mean, he's my kind of guy, dang it. <laughs> Alright, now the main boss. I'm pretty sure I still have my glove. But I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll be quite as effective against this, because I'm pretty sure he moves, like, diagonally like that. Yeah. But the remote control will be awesome for this. Oh, those uh, fire things that he shoots from the ceiling there, they, they automatically are attracted to you, so to speak. Like, they fall where you are last standing when they're about to fall. So you can actually lead them to hit the boss. <laughs> it's kind of interesting like that. And it's uh, like, I believe he's the only boss in the game aside from, you know, the other 
the five dastardly bombers themselves that can actually hurt themselves. And wow, that was that was incredibly fast. <laughs> really, that wow. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part.